From WKRG News 5, the Gulf Coast News Leader, the news starts now. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Mel Shaw. And I'm Roseanne Haven. First on five, the controversy over how to treat people hooked on pain pills has come to the Gulf Coast. Some doctors have started prescribing addicts a medication called Suboxone. But is giving them one drug to take them off another the answer? Here's News 5's Pat Peterson. Nolan Yarborough was hooked on Lortab for more than 30 years. It all started from back surgery back in 1980. I was probably doing 30 a day. Nolan lied, cheated, and stole to feed his $100 a day habit. I was spending our money, our livelihood money, on buying pills on the street because I couldn't get enough from the doctors. And when you're on all those painkillers, you don't worry about bills. You don't worry about anything. I mean, he would steal from me, I think, if he had to. But I knew he had a problem, and I just, I knew he needed help. Nolan's prescription painkiller addiction nearly cost him his marriage. Yeah, prescription drugs is just the devil in a bottle. And it gets a grip on your life, your spouse, your children, and it just, it, it eats your whole life away. But the Yarboroughs heard about a relatively new treatment plan that combines medication and drug counseling to fight narcotic addiction. The drug is called Suboxone. It takes away the withdrawal symptoms. So you, you're, you're off the, uh, the narcotic pills, and then it also kills the cravings as long as you keep taking it. And it does this without causing addiction to itself. Opponents of Suboxone say the drug is a pacifier or an enabler and that the patient is only substituting one drug for another. Foley Dr. Ron Lee, who practices pain management and is a certified addiction specialist, says that's not true. People don't crave Suboxone. I don't have to have patients call me all the time going, oh, I need a higher dose of Suboxone or I need more Suboxone. Yarborough says Suboxone saved his marriage and probably his life. This here just took me out of a cloud and put me back into the real world. Now here's one interesting fact. The drug Suboxone has been tied to the rock and pop star Prince. Both published and broadcast media reports say a California doctor specializing in addiction medicine was actually on his way to Minnesota to start Prince on Suboxone treatment the day he died. The official cause of the rock star's death has not been determined. Meanwhile, prescription painkillers, including opioids like oxycodone, hydrocodone, and morphine, have become some of the most abused drugs in the United States. According to the FDA, 80% of the world's pain pills are consumed here in the U.S. and one person dies every 19 minutes from a prescription drug overdose. Live on the Baldwin County Beat, Pat Peterson, News 5.